Ooh, where is it? Hey everyone, um, if anybody's there and you wanna type that you can hear me, that's great. I was just making sure there's a new button on Facebook that I hadn't used yet, so I was, I'll be right back. Um, we'll kinda get started in five minutes, um, but hopefully everybody's excited. Morning Peggy, how are you? Okay, great, thanks Peggy. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I could um, find all the right buttons, so I thought I would get started a little bit early just so that I could make sure that I knew what the buttons were. Sorry about the glare. It's a little bit bad, but it's better to have light, I guess, than no light. I am doing good. Doing good. Ready to um, get back to scrapbooking, not December daily. Um, I did the fall fun and then I did December daily. So this is like the first 12 by 12 I've done in a while. So we're starting to get some people in as you join in, just let me know you're here. Um, we're going to get started, um, in a few minutes, um, probably, I'm going to share in just uh, in about three minutes, and then when Michelle goes, we'll probably share it on the site. Um, just trying to get everything set up just to make sure I knew what was going on. Um, so like I said, if you're here and you can hear me and you can say hi, let me know you're here. Hey, good morning, Tanya. How are you? Morning, Pam. Yeah, we're just going to give some people some time to join. I know I'm starting a little bit early. Uh, just want to make sure that all the buttons, every time you go live on Facebook, for those of you that have ever gone live on Facebook, it's always a different button. It's like every time there's a Facebook thing and you put it in an event, it changes. Sometimes it's just go live. Sometimes it's go live in the event. So I just like to make sure I know what I'm doing so that I don't end up being late. It's always better, I think, to be a little bit early than to be late. So... I'm good, Tanya. Hope you guys are doing good. I wasn't sure how many people would come to a, a 10 a.m. on a, a 10 a.m. on Sunday, but I thought it'd be better to have one and then kind of get us started. Um, once we once we kind of get started, I'll talk about the collection and what we're doing and and why we're doing it. Hey, morning, Rachel. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share this to share now with friends. Um, Rachel or Tanya or Pam or any of you, um, was this in the scrapbook uh, layouts and more page already? Did it show up as live? I hope so. I think Michelle usually shares it. I don't know if Michelle's gonna be on this morning. Hey, Tisa. Oh, there's Michelle. Oh, you're on the road. You know, Pam, I do that all the time. I, I watch in the road while uh, John's driving. It's always a lot of fun just to kind of watch, <laughs> watch. Okay, great. Thanks, Michelle. Morning, Lisa. Yeah, I like to do Sunday mornings just because Saturday we usually have a lot of stuff going on and then Sunday mornings seem to be kind of slow. Okay, good, Pam. Great. Thanks. Um, and I, I have no idea how, uh, how everyone else is, but it's kind of a nice kind of just a scrapbook. I'm a morning scrapbooker. I know a lot of people are night scrapbookers, so like they are more prolific in the afternoon. Um, sorry, just a second. 
Oh, you? Okay. John is listening, but he can't comment because he's not in the group. Sorry. You could join the group, honey. You could join the scrapbook group. Um, okay, well, some people can't may not be able to comment, and that's okay. If they would like to join the group, maybe Michelle can let them in. Um, perfect. So I, that probably means my mom will be able to comment. So if she's watching, she's going to be upset too. So, uh, you know, that's how it goes, mom. Sometimes I'm sorry. I'll have John join and I will approve him. <laughs> it's true. Okay. So John and mom, if you're listening, you'll have to, you'll have to go in and uh, join the group, the Milo scrapbook store group, and Michelle will approve you so that you can comment on my layout. So, uh, yeah, John came straight upstairs to tell me he was listening, but he couldn't hear, he couldn't comment. So that means I can say a lot of stuff about him and he can't comment back to you. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so we got a few minutes, um, left, uh, before 10. Um, I will just say, I think the link is already, uh, up in the event, but this collection that I'm going to use, uh, Michelle verified she does have this available. I know she's got a few of them. Um, I'm going to use it today and I'm also going to use it in the crop on, uh, in two weeks. So I think you probably, and Michelle can comment if it's not true, um, you could probably order it now and have it in time for the crop if you wanted to use it. Um, I will, I'll talk about how I'm going to use it in the crop. Um, so if you wanted to use it in the crop too, it might be a, okay that you could order it now and you might be able to get it in it, before the crop. I think that's probably true, right, Michelle? I mean, if they ordered it today, you could probably get it to them before the crop. If they wanted to use it. Of course, yeah. So I think that's good. I just want to talk about, I'm going to use it today, and then I'm going to use it again. So, um, oh, Tease is going to use it. I think a lot of the designers might be using it, and we're going to use it in different ways. And I think that's, uh, morning, Eve. I think that's going to be fun. So, uh, Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about it. I've got a couple more minutes, so I see a lot of people on, and that's great. Um, like I was saying before some of you joined, um, I spent most of the fall working on my 8.5 by 11 uh, Fall Fun binder. And then I spent December working on my December Daily, which was 6 by 8. So this is really the first 12 by 12 I've done in a while, um, and it's, it's going to be fun. So we'll... Uh, We'll see how it goes. So we just got one more minute, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, so the idea was, uh, Michelle kind of sent us all a note and said she wanted to highlight a collection. And um, I think that's fun to highlight a collection. And the collection she chose to highlight, she kind of pulled the design team. And a lot of us either had or really liked this collection called We Can Just Stay at Home. I actually already had it. I had bought it um, in the summer. Hey, John. John's apparently joined the group now. Um, I already had it in the summer, and I had used quite a bit of it. So, um, and so she sent me a couple of pages, paper, so I would have enough to do um, a few more layouts. But um, it is a really great collection. So when I talk about what I like about this collection and what I think you can use it for, and then we're going to go into a page. Um, so this collection is We Can Just Stay Home, and... It has a lot of really cool things. So this is the cover page. This is the sticker sheet, and you can see what I've already used um, some of the stickers. But the big thing that it has is kind of three prongs of um, uh, themes. One of it, which is kind of blanket forts and pillow fights and pajama days. Um, the other one is kind of gaming and, you know, like playing games and those kinds of things. And then the other one is, is sloths. Now, I don't know why. But I love sloths. My, uh, my oldest daughter loves sloths. So you'll see like that is kind of big in all of these. So you'll see some of the stickers that I've already used. Um, then this is the cut apart sheet. So it, oh, books. That's the other one. It has a lot of books and reading. So this is kind of an interesting take on some of the quarantine. I know some of the quarantine collections were real big on masks and quarantining and, and all of that. This really wasn't about quarantine. This was about things you can do at home, things we can do at home, things we can do together, things you can do as a family. Now, there are quite a few, I don't have small kids anymore. There's quite a few of these that are like mama bear, daddy bear, um, pillow fort, some of the stuff that isn't necessarily appropriate for my age group of kids. But then when you flip it, there's always a cool backside that's kind of a nice graphic color. So that's the first cut apart. Um, the second cut apart, if you'll notice, has 
you know, in times like these, we all need to squeeze this just super adorable sloth, uh, little pajamas. Um, and like I said, slumber parties, all of this, family fun. And then on the back, and I think I use this on one of my, um, I think I used this on one of my pages before. These rainbows are super cute. And if you look, a couple of them have like smiley faces. Uh, then it has just a stripe and some patterns. We go back to pajama party. If you don't need the pajama party, it's got this really cool teal plaid. Um, beautiful yellow stripe. And then we go back to the sloths. And I'm telling you, they're just adorable. I mean, this is a sloth in a tutu. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the sloth in a tutu. I mean, if my child still danced, I would be cutting that out and using all of those. Um, the books. And then I know I've used this at least twice. So I just want to kind of talk about that. Um, I have just a few kind of cut apart papers. I have some of the cut aparts. And I'm going to be using this um, in the crop as well. So let's talk about what I'm going to use it for today. So today what I want to do is scrapbook bingo. So I thought what I would do is scrapbook a couple pictures from bingo and I'm just going to show you the pictures that I picked. Um, oh Sherry you're not late we just got started. Um, so I picked a couple pictures of us doing bingo and you'll notice I printed them four by six and on this four by six, it cut my daughter's head off. And I tried to print it a couple times and every time it cut her head off. So I reprinted it um, a three by four. So now I have these pictures. Now, for some reason, in the middle of bingo, my child decided to stick her head inside of her hoodie. And I just thought that was hilarious. So I'm gonna use these two pictures of us doing bingo. And then I was like, I've got two pictures. I haven't done a 12 by 12 for a while. I kind of need some inspiration. So I have a binder of the page maps, um, just different page maps. I've printed them out, I put them in a binder. And I was looking through to find one that had two photos and a place for some journaling. And what I ended up doing is finding the August 2018, and then I blew it up so you guys could see it, August 2018, 12 by 12 um, page map. and. That's the one we're going to use today, just kind of as our base. If you're like me and you haven't done a 12 by 12 in a while and you just need some inspiration, it's always good to just go find a sketch. And page maps are really easy. I know, um, I think, uh, <laughs> I know, <laughs> Rachel, I don't know what it is with kids. They just love to stick that in there. Um, so page maps are really easy to, to do to find the sketches. So then the other thing was, I don't have, I showed you the sticker sheet, I don't have a lot of embellishments left for this. So I went through my stash and I kind of thought that I wanted to make a bingo card um, with the title. And I don't have a bingo stamp, but what I do have is this old calendar from, I want to say Stamping Up. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, there it is. Stamping Up. Stamping Up. And I thought if I... Um, mask it off this is kind of a bingo board so we're going to try to do that and then i wanted some graphic letters to spell out bingo so i found this felicity jane you'll notice they fit in there and i've got all the letters for bingo b-i-n-g-o so i'm going to use that at the top of this and that's where i'm going to do my journaling so i found that then i went through and i had also with my felicity jane stuff just some ampersands and arrows. We're gonna see if those work. They're in the right colors. So I thought that was good. I, I pulled out some washi. So I've got some pink washi, some stripe, and these rainbows in case I end up using the rainbows. I decided I wanted to do something um, in the middle of the bingo board. So I pulled out some different brads and we'll probably put one in the middle and then I've got some other ones and maybe I'm gonna use those in the bingo board as well. So I pulled out some brads. Um, I had a couple of the uh, die cuts from this collection that I thought would work. Um, and so we'll see if we can use those. I have some, I don't really know where they came from. I think it's Allie Edwards, hearts and stars. We may use those, we may not. And then from another quarantine collection and Michelle might remember, I had these little circles 
And the real thing is I want to use the one that says family time. It matches the color and then maybe a couple of the rainbows. So <laughs> I know I love Brad's. So that's my plan. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. So uh, hopefully you guys will stick with me and we can get it done. And I, and I think we can do it in um, an hour. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard. So we're going to start by making the journal card because I think that's going to be the thing that we need to get right. So I did, um, I did get a, a piece of a navy cardstock just in case I need a background solid piece. I'm going to put all these to the side. Uh, Brad's are awesome. You know, Rachel, I think you're right. I think it was Pink Fresh Studios. And I did go on Amazon and buy this, like, stamp mat. Um, because I was finding that stamping directly on my glass mat, I wasn't getting great impressions. I don't know yet. Thank you, Tisa. Um, I don't know yet if I love it, but, you know, we'll see. Okay, so, in order to do this bingo, let's, first of all, we need five. One, two, three, four, five. And I know I'm gonna have to like kind of, I'm gonna hold this piece of scrap paper here. Um, and speaking of scrap paper, Tisa invited me for a um, hop that's going on. I'm gonna flip this. Um, a hop that's going on to use up your scraps. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, you can check out um, mine or Rachel's um, or Tisa's uh, YouTube channel and I'll have links to everybody that's participated uh, this month, but it's really cool. Um, if you're like me and you have a bunch, like a bunch of scraps and you want to figure out a way to use them, um, it's a really neat uh, way to look at it. Um, and we're all doing kind of different things, which is kind of fun to watch. Everybody kind of did something different um, and uh, used things differently. Okay, are we ready to see if this is going to work? See how I got silent stamping? Okay, well it's not perfect, but it's there. And what we can do is take a ruler and draw the lines on. Handy dandy Sharpie, ruler. And I knew I was gonna have to draw these lines anyway, so. So besides me, does anyone else play uh, bingo with uh, Michelle when she does it? I think I've seen a lot of you there on the Friday night. Okay, so now we have kind of a grid. Now I probably could have just drawn the lines with a ruler, but my ability to draw straight is not great. So I figured just starting with any kind of shape would be better. Okay, so now what I want to do just to make sure that I have enough space um, is go ahead and put the bingo on top just so we don't lose it. So we have been doing, um, I didn't do bingo before um, beginning of last year because we typically have always had stuff to do on Fridays and then as most of you, all of a sudden, uh, we kind of ended up staying home a lot. And Michelle changed the bingo to kind of a family bingo. And so John and I did it the first time, just the two of us. And then the next time I asked the 14 year old if he wanted to play, thinking really there's no way he's gonna wanna play. And instead, I was shocked to hear him say, yeah, sure, I'll play. And from then on, we have had basically family bingo night almost every time she's done bingo. And it's ranged from just the three of us, um, Drew and John and I, to during Thanksgiving, we had, how many of us were there, John? Six of us? I think there were six of us playing. So, I mean, you know, you just, it, it's really a lot of fun, and we don't play it to win. Um, we play it more because how often with a group of kids do you have, you know, basically an hour and a half. Uh, I think sometimes when we do six games, it's almost two hours of just time, like, with your kids just sitting there talking, laughing, you know, 
it's great. So highly recommend if you want to spend time with your kids, even like your young kids. Um, it was just so much fun just to have that time with the kids. And I, you know, I, to me, it was priceless. Now I am going to journal on this because I do want to make sure to journal, but I want to go ahead and put at least in the middle. Yeah, we did have six. I want to put the one brad in the middle that would normally be the free space. Um, I think we've talked about this before, but this is my really old uh, Making Memories uh, little tool collection, and I still use it for all my brads. I, I know, Sherry, isn't it fun? It is fun to play. Okay, so I have this one that's a heart, and I think that's kind of what I'm going to lean to, is putting the heart there. Okay. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna journal. Um, I'm gonna journal on this. You do, yeah. I think a lot of people have that toolbox. It's kind of the classic tools um, of the trade. So this is where I'm gonna journal. Um, and so at least we've got that started. So now we'll go back to, let me put my stamp mat away. We'll go back to the papers and the sketch and kind of figure out what we're gonna do next. So on the sketch, it's kind of got one paper on the edge, a paper in the middle, and then a little uh, middle part, and then the two photos. Their particular photos are four by four and smaller. And then they have this date where they're gonna put the journaling, and so my thought was I would put that would be the bingo card. So what I wanna do first is see if I can get this picture to be four by four without losing the bingo or their heads. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to go down pretty far there. So anybody else scrapping this morning or anybody else uh, just hanging out? So we got a four by four. Now we got to find the other picture. So we are doing a winter crop. Um, it'll be in two weeks and we are, and I don't think this is going to be a surprise, um, we are going to do a um, Friday Live um, with the design team. So we're going to have different members of the design team on the Zoom again. So you'll be able to hear um, a bunch of us. And then Saturday and Sunday, the design team members are going to go live during different times. So um, you should have a bunch of people, you know, kind of uh, giving you some different ideas on the challenges. Um, for the um, Friday Live Challenge, we are looking at doing mood boards because, you know, it's me and I love mood boards. Okay, so for the title, and here's where you guys can vote, I was debating between family playtime and family fun. And I want to choose that first because then I'll decide what background color to put on. So, um, family fun or family playtime. So I'll just let you guys, everybody put in there which one you like or which one you think is better. And then once I cut that out, then we'll pick, um, then we'll pick out the, the different colors of the paper. So which title do you like better? And I get to drink coffee while, you're, while, I'm, while we're voting. So family fun or playtime. So I got to vote for fun. Fun. Two votes for fun. Fun. Three votes for fun. Okay. Fun. Okay. Looks like fun's winning. Unless playtime would come from behind. So we'll go ahead and cut out fun. Yep. Family fun. Everybody likes family fun. So I will tell you that um, this paper is actually, I think I've, um, this is like one of my absolute favorite papers in this whole thing. And um, I love the font of the Family Fun. I don't know if you guys can see that that well. It's just so cute. Whereas all the different, I wish, and Michelle, I know you don't have any control of this, but I wish they had done stickers with all of these different fun fonts. That would have been, that would have been awesome. But they didn't, so here we are. And instead of stickers, I'm gonna use the card. 
Um, I love the cut aparts. I love the cut aparts. I love using the cut aparts. I love all of that because I think it just makes it, I think it makes it interesting. And I know a lot of people have been asking lately about, do you do, um, do you do, uh, project life and how do you do project life? But I don't do project life, but I do use a lot of cut aparts. Okay. So if you remember in this, Titles up here, we have a four by four, and then I wanna put the bingo card to do the journaling. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like. And I will probably end up doing like this. So what I need to decide is how do I, what other colors do I wanna bring in and where do I wanna put the um, other uh, colors in the backgrounds. So. I have a couple of options here. I can either fussy cut the family fun closer, which I think I'm leaning towards, so that I can make this a little bit different. I think I wanna have the blue be the big diagonal piece. So let's figure out um, two, what color can go the best behind the blue. So we'll start looking. And if we did the red and we had the hearts, I mean, that would be kinda of cool. But I also, where is the other piece? See, now I've already put it somewhere. Look how cool that orange would be behind it, too. I mean, that's kind of fun, too. With the stars. What do you guys think? I think I'm leaning towards putting the stars on the edges in diagonals. Okay, so... In order to do the diagonals for the stars, what you've got to do is kind of make an angle. And what I'm going to do is decide that I want it to be one inch. And I'm going to measure it on my, um, on my cutter. Now, this is not easy. Actually, I'm going to do an inch and a half. This is not easy because my cutter only goes to um, 12. So it may not be perfect, but we will make it work. I like the stars. So we've got that right there. And so now what we've got to do is take this and I'm just going to line this up to one. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing, can you? I'm off to the side. Okay, well, I'm lining it up to one and a half and I'm cutting it straight from where it cut before. So in theory, I should have two that are equal. So I've got these on the two edges. So I really like how that turns out. I like just having a little pop of orange. Now I am a little bit distressed that I'm doing a little bit of like, was it Florida Gators or something? But we'll get over that. Oh, I see there's a lot more people um, that are joining now. Um, and so just to say, we are doing a page with the um, We Can Stay Home collection, We Can Just Stay Home collection. And Michelle has some available in the store that you guys can get. And a lot of the designers are gonna be using this during our crop in two weeks. So what I wanted to do is just kind of, kind of put it out there so you guys could maybe get it and then you could follow along in what we're doing during the crop. So it's just kind of a preview of some more fun that's coming um, during the crop. So um, if you like it, I'm sure the link is there. I know I put the link in the event. So after, after you're done watching um, me scrapbook, if you want to go look at the event, you can download it and actually get this particular set of paper, um, which is what we're using. Okay, so now we have we have our base, and I think I saw somebody else agree with me that we should fussy cut family fun. So I am going to do that. And I know there's nothing more exciting in the world than watching somebody fussy cut, so I will be as quick as physically possible. I always, when I do videos on my YouTube channel, I um, try to like cut out the fussy cutting, and then sometimes I'm like, once you've cut out the fussy cutting, that's like, you know, 90% of the entire process. 
but particularly with things like this, it's just a little too big right now as it is to have all of that white space. And I think somebody said back the photos in red. I think that's a great idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. So does anyone else besides, I know a lot of the design team members, anyone else have this collection? Does anyone else use this collection? So we play a lot of board games. So I got it because of the game stuff. Um, and because my oldest daughter, like I said, loves sloths. So I got it for the sloth stuff. And I haven't done a sloth page yet, but watch out because the crop is coming. So is everyone coming to the crop in a couple weeks? Anybody excited? Um, I don't think we've set all the challenges, so if there's any challenges you would like to see, you could put it in the comments. Um, I am going to do a mix it up challenge where you use um, multiple collections. Oh, you haven't used it yet, um, Lenore. Yeah, it's a great it's a great collection, and the colors are so good. It has that thing that I used to love about Chamel collections, that you know now I know Chamel doesn't doing. Um, collections anymore, but it has the primary colors. I think we've lost a little bit of the primary colors um, in some of the new collections. I mean, I know like Vicki Booten's a lot more distressed and um, and then Doodlebug, although the next collection with those cute little mixers is got my name written all over it, um, a lot of times is too childlike. This has just some really fun and funky, you know, primary colors that you can use without um, having to, uh, without having to, you know, have it too childish. And Chamel used to do that great. So I don't know why they're not carrying her lines anymore or they're not, she's not designing anymore, but I know she's on the Paige Evans design team. So I know she'll be doing, um, using a lot of that stuff. Anyway, I was saying, um, oh, thanks. Yeah, that's exactly what I like about it. The primary colors with a touch of whimsy. Um, if you are coming to the crop or you're gonna help um, do some of the challenges for the crop in a couple weeks and there's something that you would really like to see, you know, now is probably a good time to just put it in the comments or to let Michelle know. Um, and then we have time to make sure that we have the challenges or the videos that you guys want to see. You know, we're trying to make sure that um, as a design team, um, like Tisa and Rachel and, and I kind of do things that, you know, you're interested in seeing because that's kind of the point is that, you know, we um, tailor it to things that Michelle's customers kind of want to see. So, um, like I said, we're going to be focusing on this particular kit. I think we're going to try to do that is kind of focus on a kit going forward, which I love this one. And we're going to be doing some challenges uh, that we saw online. Um, and I'm going to do mix it up where you use different collections. Um, I don't remember. I know I want to say somebody's doing layers. Rachel or Tisa, was it one of you? Somebody's going to do layers. Like we're going to use a lot of layers. Okay. Okay. And that is my cat who needs to go out. So I will be right back. Go out. Go ahead. Anyone that has cats knows you can't trap a cat in. That's just like, it's unacceptable. So uh, he was not happy that he was trapped in the room. I have the red. I think I might want to go with the yellow. Okay, yeah, Rachel's doing layers. Okay, so let's go back to the sketch and look. So we have these two pieces, and then we have the blue, and then we have this big, bold piece in the middle, and then a huge, um, well, not huge, then we have a banner down the center. So what I may do, um, and at this point in the photo, or in the sketch, the photos aren't backed, but I probably will back them. I may back them in white, actually. So, I'm just 
just trying to decide what I like. Any ha anybody have any like big ideas here? Look. This will surprise no one, but I've already lost the family fun that I just cut out because that's how it goes. Oh, there it is. Okay. I do like that up there. And then I do kind of like, I do need something else with a little bit of multicolor. I think, so I think I want to do, where is the, yeah, okay. I think I'm going to make that a square in the middle. And I'm going to do family fun. So we're just going to kind of guesstimate there. Like that. Family fun. And I think I may not do the banner down the middle, even though the sketch had it. I don't think we need it. Um, but what I am going to do is back these pictures in the red and probably I'm going to back this in the red. Yeah, I like that a lot. So don't forget when you're doing things like this, if you do layers like this, you can always, you can back a layer, right? So I have this in the, I have this. You can back, a, you know, your big thing in the middle with another color to make it pop. So there's nothing wrong with that. There's also nothing wrong in I have this big, huge heart paper and I'm going to cut it. It's your paper. I think I've said that before, but, you know, you paid for it. It's not precious. Just cut it. Okay, I am really liking how this is turning out. So now the question is, do I back these in the red or do I back them in a blue? What do we think, a blue or a red? Because so I could do, I could do the sloth paper and back the pictures. No, that's not. I can't do the yellow. I could also back them in white. Why don't we do that? Why don't we back them in white? That probably would work the best, yeah. So once we get this laid out, um, then we will start embellishing. Yeah, that's what, Ra yes, Rachel, that's 100% the right, right rock. Definitely do white. Yeah, that looks good. So do anyone get any scrappy goodness for um, Christmas? My mom got me one of the, um, I think it's creative, I don't even know what it is, the Chompers, the same people that make the um, Crocodile, they have like Chompers to do corners, and I like it. I haven't used it a lot yet, but, Everything in me wants to make that diagonal too, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do family fun. We need to ink that. Other chip sapphire. Oh, thank you. I think that looks perfect too. I like it. Chip sapphire. So let's find my dauber. Oh, 
Oh, and look at that. Yeah. This is why I shouldn't be allowed to do this because I just make a mess everywhere. But I know I'm not alone. Definitely the white, yeah. The white definitely looks good. Looks better. Um, Pam, what's a, the Gemini Junior is, it's a, the electronic die cutting machine, is that right? The electronic, uh, not really die cutting, but the electronic machine that you put dies through. Some flare, oh, flare, everybody loves flare. So I have my bingo card. Okay, what do we think about this, ladies? Pretty good for just a, a layout. And then I'm gonna journal on this and then maybe put some other brads through it. And then we'll, so how do we like this for just kind of the core layout? You guys like it? Cause then I'll start, then I'll start sticking down and look, I got ink all over that. See, I really shouldn't be allowed to, to use ink. There should probably be like one of those things where it says messy people shouldn't be allowed to use distress oxides, but you know, too late. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to start by putting this down. So the good news is, if um, anyone ever wants my fingerprints, they can just go to my scrapbook pages and find them because they're everywhere. Um, if you guys didn't uh, participate in the, uh, was it 12 days of Christmas or something, I don't remember what Michelle called it, but um, she had these really great deals on a bunch of foam. And um, it's probably the best deal I've ever seen on uh, foam adhesive so I got two sets and uh, super excited about that uh, but I'm gonna have foam now for a while which is good it's always nice to have foam and use it I've been using like the fun foam like from Walmart where you cut it and you put it on the back but the problem is you end up like using an entire sheet to pack a photo because um, you know, you put the whole thing behind your photo and then it runs out really quick and then you have to buy new ones and it's not exactly the most cost effective or probably environmentally friendly way to use that foam. I do have like no nails, which also is bad for this kind of stuff. So there's 19 of you still with us. Um, I know somebody said they're gonna be in and out during the crop weekend, but uh, I'm excited about it. I haven't done, we haven't done anything in a while. It'll be nice to get some pages done. Um, I am gonna, because I'll do the Zoom sessions and I'll do both Zoom sessions because I'm, I, uh, we use my Zoom, so I'm on it. And then I have my live again. It'll be same time Sunday, but during the crop. Um, I'll get at least three pages done, which will be really nice to get some pages done. Just gonna make sure I have enough room for the bingo card. Yes, okay. Oh, you already almost used up one roll, I know. That is part of the problem. I did buy two rolls, and then she also had the foam, um, the big, huge foam rolls. And so I got the foam rolls too, so the black and the white. So I have a bunch of foam now. Okay, now before I stick the bingo card down, I do wanna do my journaling. So I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to get my Sharpie back. I do wanna have the journaling on here. And then after I put the journaling down, then I can figure out, you know, kind of where I wanna put the brads. Um, I may wanna do like a diagonal of the brads. 
So I'm going to try to leave those squares open. Uh, Michelle, we have all of what in, in stock? Oh, and I also need to, okay, I'm going to stamp this. Where did the ink go? Um, I predated because that way I don't have to try to be looking for the date. You guys are going to have to talk amongst yourself while I write. Sorry. Basically, I'm just saying that um, during COVID, this was one of our favorite um, activities. This was our first uh, 2021 bingo. Uh, and that Drew won $20, which was great. And then one of the funniest things that happens to us is basically every game I'm gonna um, uh, basically every game that we play John has a board that has nothing marked I don't know what happens and we let him pick his own boards and I picked his boards but somehow he'll have a board that has nothing nothing on it it is the funniest thing ever, and then it becomes like an inside family joke to see how long it'll take for John to have a board that has something on it. Um, so I'm gonna write that too. Oh no, look at that, see? You just let me do it. So um, when the kids go back and look at my scrapbooks, I get a lot of grief because my handwriting is horrible. But, um, and so sometimes I'll type it up. But here's the thing. When the kids go back and look at my scrapbooks, they have my handwriting. Um, and I think about that because I have things in my great-grandmother's handwriting. I have things in my grandmother's handwriting. Um, I have some stuff in my mom's handwriting. And... You know, yes, my handwriting is atrocious, um, but it's my handwriting. And when the kids go back and look at it, you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, whenever it is, um, they'll see, oh, look, that's mom's handwriting. And they'll remember, oh, yeah, her handwriting was bad and, you know, all of that. But it, it's okay. So I guess one of the things I just try to tell people is I get it. I get that it's hard sometimes to do handwriting on your pages and you think to yourself oh no one's gonna be able to read this and it's not typed and it's always better to have the story than to not have the story and it's always better in my mind at least on a few of your pages to have your handwriting and just have it there so that people can see it um I tried really hard to make my handwriting better and I would print and then I finally got to the point where I was like you know what this is this is what my handwriting looks like. We might as well just go with go with the flow. Okay, so I have the story. I have the date. I dated it. So now we can put this down. And I think I want to pop this up as well. Mainly because I have the brads on there. Um, I just want to pop it up so there's not a problem.
yeah, uh, it is a nice memory to have your handwriting. I, I enjoy going back and looking at things that have my grandmother's handwriting um, on them. I enjoy looking at things that have, you know, my great-grandmother's handwriting. So I just think it's fun to have that in our, um, in our books. And, you know, I know some people have said, okay, well, no one's going to look at this when I'm gone. Nobody's going to take this. You know, all of the kids here have said they go and look at the books. They look at my scrapbooks. You know, it's just part of it. How many times can I say you know? It was, Sherry, it was one of the good things in 2020. Um, I don't know that Michelle really, and she's on here. I don't know that she gets, like, how meaningful family bingo was for a lot of us. But it is, you know, two hours a month or twice a month where you sit down with teenagers and you can talk around a table. I mean, that's about as priceless as it gets. And it was one of those things that you didn't expect to happen, but it did. And it was something like, and, and I, I'll say this, I hope that, uh, I hope this doesn't upset anyone, but um, the last time we did bingo, Kenny was on. And Kenny sang the numbers. He was like, I 15. And he was real excited. And then in January, we did not get singing or exciting numbers. We just got I 15. And both of my kids that did it were like, wait, where's the singing? And so they would do, they would re-say the number after Carrie would say it, and they would do it in some dramatic voice. They would either sing it, or they would do something else. And it was just, so they had that memory of doing it in, in December, it was either December or November with Kenny, and then they brought that to the January one because they thought it was so much fun. So it's things like that that just, like I said, Great memory, you know, I got a 23 year old and a 14 year old playing together, having fun, sitting down. You can't, you can't beat that, so super fun. Okay, so we have done everything except for the embellishing. So now let's figure out, I didn't pull a lot of embellishments, but we will figure out what we wanna do next. Carrie is leaving you, where is she going? So I have The Good Life. I definitely have Family Time, which I'm gonna just stick right there. Um, I'm gonna put a few rainbows. Got three of those. <laughs> Where is she going, uh, Michelle? Uh, I'm assuming school of some way, or I just don't know if this is going to work anywhere. I'm not, I mean, I'm definitely going to keep the good life there. And this says, together is our favorite place, so I will probably put this down here. And then I do want to do that. And I think what I want to do, you know what I want to do? Is I want to do, the, okay, that's not going to work. I already stuck it down. But I do want to do like the good life and then point it at Katie somehow. So I'm going to have to find a different arrow that I can do that for. Like that. Oh, wow. Well, it's good. You know, I will tell you, I spent, you know, Katie was in Arkansas for quite some time. And I was out without her. And it actually just made me love her more. Because every once in a while you need a little break from your kids. So maybe it'll be great. And she won't be that far. Okay, so I have this. Let's see, the next thing is, oh, I make it look so easy. I am just throwing things on. Um, so now I have some hearts. 
some acrylic hearts, some wood hearts. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna add the wood because I think it's just another texture I don't need. But the white acrylic, I think, kind of goes with the um, bingo board. So I think that I'm gonna do like white here. And then I do have the cork stars, which kind of mimic the stars on hit this. So I think I can get away with that. Maybe one down there. And I know I'm not clustering the way other people cluster, but I am um, just trying to make it work. What do we think, that heart or this heart? Big heart, little heart. Okay, there's the little heart. And then there's the big heart. Big heart, little heart. Keep that there. Anybody have an opinion on big heart or little heart? Oh, little. Let's see a vote for little heart. Okay, I'm gonna go with little. So now we're gonna stick these down. I get a lot, asked a lot of questions about my glue. I just use the Scotch Quick Tacky Drew glue in the fine line bottle. Nothing fancy. Um, it's what I've used for years. Okay, what time is it? Oh, we're doing great. Oh, it'd be fun to see what you have. Are you gonna do like a clearance sale, you think, of all the old stuff? Or are we gonna, um... what do you think you're gonna do? Now, I do have this um, washi tape. And I could put the wash, oh, look at that. Now I know I should have put something up there and maybe we'll go back and find something we can put up there, but it's still just cute. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, and then we're gonna add a little bit of rainbow. Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay, so the question is, do I have anything else on here that will work? Oh, I've got these three little hearts. I could put that there and kind of close the page out. What do you think? Perfect. Okay, I think I've used the page. So, um, this was the, and now my desk is a complete disaster. Um, this was the photo play, um, we can just stay home collection. It's available in the store. Um, we will be using this collection as part of the crop that's coming up. And I wanted to give everybody kind of a sneak peek of it. So I'll be using, I think Tisa's going to be using it. Rachel's going to be using it. Um, go ahead and get it now so you can have it for the crop. The crop is in two weeks. We'll be doing some Zooms. We'll be doing a lot of live um, live cr crops. There'll be challenges um, and it'll be a lot of fun. So come and join us. So I used this collection. I fussy cut out the title um, from one of the four by six cards. I used the star paper, the rainbow paper, heart paper, um, some of the embellishments. Oh, I didn't use any stickers. Were there any stickers? Well, let's just, let's just, take one little break and see were there any stickers we wanted to use well you know you got we didn't use the family playtime card but we could just stick it right here oh 
I'm just doing it. I know, I know. We're sticking it down there, and we got another rainbow. And let's see. Oh, look. Another heart. Sometimes more is more. So just added a few more little touches there. Um, so I did that sticker sheet. Um, this is actually from the die cuts. And we mixed in some pink fresh and a little bit of some cork. Uh, we made our own bingo card to do the journaling. And hopefully you guys liked it. I appreciate everybody coming by. I know there's a lot more people here now than there were in the beginning. So you can head back to the beginning and see it. Um, like I said, there's going to be a lot of fun uh, in a couple weeks and you'll see this collection more. So first thing you should do is hop off and order the collection so you can watch us use it in a couple of weeks. If there's nothing else, thank you guys so much and I will see you in two weeks. Bye everyone.